Hola hermosos hermosas, how are you guys doing today? I'm back. Um, so after last week's video, um, my Wednesday wellness, if you haven't checked that out, check it out now. Just pause this one and then go to that one and then come back after you finish, okay? But I am feeling a lot better. I am feeling refreshed. Um, I think my sister and I were both feeling um, kind of the same at the same time. So when I called her, and she expressed kind of like the same things i don't know how i know that's like so vague but um soon enough you guys will be able to know a little bit more about our story but um anyways she's a flight attendant and she actually picked up an overnight here in a bustle and she surprised me with it um so i feel very blessed and grateful because i know that's not ideal in a lot of situations um but i do feel very blessed and grateful that she was able to come and spend the day with me and it really really helped even if we didn't talk about what was going on um just having her with me and with my girls like we had a lot of fun and it just like i said it it, it just um like refueled me so i am back so for those of you who don't know, who haven't seen it yet, I actually did a live yesterday with one of my homegirls and I used like this turquoise color that I'm gonna use again today. Um, and I really, really, really wanted to pair it with this lip color that I'm gonna show you. This is it, it's called Candy Apple. Look at how beautiful it is. I love like the orange undertone to this red. And I was like, damn, I really wanna pair these colors together, but I didn't think that they were gonna go, that they weren't gonna like, you know mesh well together but then i saw this picture on instagram where they used like a bluish color with a red similar to that so i was like okay i'm just gonna go for it and then if i fuck up then you know it is what it is we got it on camera <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump on into it so because they are blues and i am gonna use a little bit of black i think i don't want to mess up my base so we're gonna jump on into the eyes first and then Go back to the base so let's go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on my face actually probably before i do that i should put my spf because y'all know that i use this as my primer oh no i'm running out where's the other one? Oh, i don't know why i had that one in front of me let's add a little bit more here you go and then we are going to of course mix our glow drops into that so these are um they're called perfect glow drops they are coconut um infused we're gonna do a whole pump of that and then we're gonna just oh mis amigos. we're just gonna go ahead and mix that up and then put it on my face just like so you see that immediate glow oh god i love this i can't say it enough like i cannot say it enough My bangs are a little funky today. I don't know why. I think I need to get some clippers to cut them better. Cause I used to cut them with shears all the time. And then I started cutting them with clippers and it just made me feel so much better about them being straight. Anyway, let's not get into the, my bangs cause sometimes they piss me off. Um, so, okay, that's my primer. You guys know that I use this as a primer. Um, and I love it because it's like a three in one. It's a moisturizer. Um, a primer and an SPF and then I still go in with my first piece priming spray super hydrating super super there's no shame in my priming game all right let's go ahead and jump right in where is my mirror all right we are going to put some concealer on our lids because it does double as a primer versatile guys our products are versatile i really hope i don't fudge this one up i've really messed up before on um on like uh facebook live <laughs> I was talking about it actually the other day on my Facebook Live. Hold on, I guess I didn't mix that well on my face or spread it well on my face. It looks good on camera. Okay. 
anyway when i was first learning how to like do these different things on my face i used to do eyeshadow but i never did like cut creases or anything like that and my first time i ever did a cut crease on facebook i was like okay guys you know i've never done this before so we're gonna learn together y'all at the end of that video no one learned shit about that <laughs> i mean they learned about my base but i'm pretty sure a lot of them were like oh girl that is not cute i don't think that that's the look you were going for but everyone learns at their own pace, guys, okay? So, all right. Now I'm kind of nervous about this color because I'm just nervous. I've never done it in this way. So I think we might go in with the darker color first. All right, let's just go in with the darker blue first. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, all right, all right, Johanna, you got this. We are gonna go in with the turquoise color first. You are gonna see how beautiful this color is. All right, we're gonna do this all on the lid and then we'll go in and mix the other blue. Let's do it. There's no more turning back. It's on the lid. Y'all can't really see that. Let's spray a little bit of primer on it or setting spray. All right, setting spray, here you go. All right. There you go, do you guys see that? All right, so we are going to put this, we're gonna focus it on the center of the eye and hopefully this works out in my favor. So we're gonna focus this on the center and because I'm gonna go in with some blue, some other blue um, around and then in the crease. Cause I don't know how to, I need to get a camera y'all. So if you guys already have cameras, you guys already do this thing, let me know your advice because I want to be able to like zoom in and zoom out and I can't do that with my iPad unless I can and I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. That could be it. Jeez, this color is so pretty. This color is actually, both of the blues that I'm gonna use today, they're actually from the Ali Raymond. Um, shit, I don't even know if I'm saying her last name right. I'm really sorry, Ali. But it's from her collab with Lime Life. It's her fierce um, collab with Lime Life. And she had like a few palettes that she put together. And this one here is called, let's see what it's called. It's called, um, yeah, so on the front it says Fierce by Ally. You see how it has like a iridescent. And this one is actually called Fine Balance. And I loved her whole collection because it had like a bunch of cute quotes on it. Like this mirror says, um, make time for yourself each day. You deserve it. But everything, like the lipsticks and all, were all um, titled really, really pretty. So anyways... That's this color. Now we're going to go in with the other blue. Ojalá que si salga bien, because if not, it ain't going to be no Mamacita Monday. Just kidding. Just kidding, Joe. Why Why would you say that? I don't know. All right, now we're going to go in with this blue. Oh, I'm scared. It's pretty pigmented, too. Okay. No se ve nada. What the hell? Let's get a more dense brush. There you go. I can see the color, but y'all can't see the color. Why? All right, I'm gonna have to go on with a different blue because this one isn't showing up the way I want it to. So. Let 
Let's see what Oasis has to say for us. Let's see. I don't think I've used Oasis here before. Have I? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not picking up on camera. Why? Y'all, is this my sign to go get a camera like ASAP? Probably, huh? I'm gonna have to take pictures and then show what it looks like. I don't wanna have to do that. I want you guys to be able to see it completely here. I'm trying not to get frustrated, y'all. But it's not at all looking the way that I expected it to. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna try to pack it the way that I did the other color. And maybe like that, it'll work out. Okay, still not being able to pick it up on camera that well, but it does look the way I want it to look now. Yesterday, I was seeing everyone's posts, like EDC posts and like all the sets, and I was feeling the FOMO for real. When I first met my husband, um, that's what we were doing. Like we were going to festivals and to raves and base gone. <laughs> we haven't gone in years, literally like before he joined, um, before he joined the army. And um, so now I'm thinking, I mean, we're not too old to go to those things. So I'm thinking maybe next year I actually might get us some tickets because, because you know, moms and dads need to have some fun too. We're not that old. So I think I might. And it actually made me, I think that's why like I thought about this look also because I'm like, oh, this would be a really cute look to wear to something like that. Although when we were going to raves, I, I'm not really one to like wear like rave outfits. It's not really like my jam, but I think it's cute that like people do it. Um, and my makeup was pretty generic, not very like festival-like. But now that I know a little bit more about makeup, I may just do it. You know what I mean? If y'all have been to festivals or raves or whatever, y'all tell me which one was your favorite one. Like what year, which one? Tell me, tell me all the things. The one thing I haven't done and I, I do want to do, I do want to do, I want to go to a festival with my sisters, for sure. Like all of my sisters. We've never gone, I've gone to one, I've taken one of my sisters to a rave before, 
but um I think it was like the first one that I went with my husband and um and I definitely want to do that again okay I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit more of like this blue on the outside I hope I can to kind of darken this area up if not I'm gonna have to go in with some black Yeah, man, you guys aren't, the camera's not picking it up, but I actually really do like the way it's turning out. And I'm glad I did my eyes first because I think, whoa! I think I do want to clean it up a little bit on the sides and it wouldn't have been so easy to do that if I would have done my base first. Mm -mm -mm. What am I doing, Johanna? What am I doing? It looks a hot mess on freaking camera. Wonderful. But remember the last, or like my first video, it looked like a hot mess. But it, it turned out pretty damn good at the end of it. So I have faith. I have faith. Like I said, we're all learning together. <laughs> You're like, uh-uh, girl, I don't want to learn anything from you. Look at how crazy this looks. I'm just concentrating this black on the outer corner that way when I attempt to clean it up like at an angle it looks better like the way that I see it in my head it's gonna work out just need to flick this out a little bit I would do a wing, but I don't have a black liner right now. I need to get one. I need to order one. So this is what it's going to be for now. It's okay. I'm going to a little bit more of that turquoise color. 
I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. This is going by pretty fast. I don't know why that I feel like that happens. When I'm doing my eyes first, I'm like, holy moly, I'm almost done. I don't know why it feels like that. And it's probably not. I feel like when I do, when I do looks that start off really messy, I feel like everything goes faster. <laughs> Does that sound trippy or what? You are gonna get a good picture of this though, don't trip. And I don't know how to like edit pictures or nothing like that. So you are gonna see like the picture clearly for sure. I need to get a camera with like a like a control or something so I can like zoom in and zoom out. Is there such thing? All right, and I think I'm gonna add some white in this area right about here. Oh, actually, let me try this one. Oh, I like this. All right, let's clean this up so that way I can be done with this. This is going by pretty damn fast. <laughs> um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am going to get a cleaning wipe or not a cleaning wipe, a makeup wipe. It is what it is. We're gonna go on in with our base since I already have my um, SPF and my glow drops on. We're gonna go in with our foundation. I am taking a tapered fluffy, um, one that is mostly used for um, for blush. I just like the way it applies better. Now we're going in with some concealer and then we'll be able to buff out that lower lash line. I'll never get over this coverage like that compared to this over here. When I was younger, I used to say like, oh, I love how my cheeks are just naturally pink. And then growing up, I realized, and then I was told that it was rosacea and I was like, uh oh, um, so my face isn't supposed to be like that. No. I'm just glad I have products that help with like the flare ups and stuff like that. Cause rosacea, as far as like in my family, it's like genetics. Cause a lot of people in my family have it. 
And I, I remember seeing that, but I never knew or educated myself on what it was or like what made it flare up until I actually started paying attention on uh, to like what I put on my skin. All right, let me set my under eye real quick. I got a question actually the other day on, on what I sprayed on my Blenderful and it is um, my setting spray. So we have, a uh, Lime Life Biofone has two different sprays. They have the Oil Strike and the Time Setter. So Oil Strike would be more for um, people that are very oily um, and then time setter is for people that have more like dry skin or mature skin. So I don't like to wet my brush or my brush, my, um, my blender full with water. I do it with the setting spray and I just feel like the finish is a lot, a lot nicer. So I just dab that in and then I set my under eye before it starts to crease. You know, lately I've been forgetting to do my brows and then it's not till like I'm almost done that I'm like, shit, I forgot to do my brows. I'm telling y'all, my veins are pissing me off. All right, let's do our brows before I finish this eye look. All right, brows are done. Now I'm gonna take a, a brush like this and I'm gonna add these colors to the bottom here. Actually, I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and take whatever is still on here from the blue and add that first. All right, let's tight line. Where's my other one? Uh oh, where's my duo? Oh no, did I leave it? No, I didn't leave it, but I left it at my friend's house. <gasps> no, this isn't it. Oh no. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I have a black and 
a, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I do have a black and a neutral, but I was really hoping that I didn't lose it. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna throw some lashes on. And I just hope that the lashes aren't too much for this look. I don't think so, but we'll see. I do wanna blend this out just a little bit more because I feel like this line right here is too harsh. There you go. This one over here is. Bronzer. If you guys ever need or like are interested in the foundation, even the concealer, and you guys don't know what shade you, you should get, there is a quiz. Um, but I would love, love, love to match you myself because I'm pretty damn good at it. Or you guys can do the quiz and then um, let me know what you got on the quiz and I can make sure that that was right. I think this blush that I'm using, which is number five, it's called Blushing. I think it's my new favorite blush. I just got it in our subscription box and I really, really like it. Let's put some highlight on, shall we? love that this is called heart of gold this is our powder highlight and it is gorgeous like that all right what's next my lippy <laughs> let's see you guys want to see this bold lippy it's gonna look crazy but i'm excited where is my lip liner i am gonna do a nude lip liner um it's mainly for like the purpose of these ELCs and during the pullers, the liquid lipsticks, they don't bleed, but just to, just to be safe. And this one here that I am using is called Sugar. It's number eight. sweaty <gasps> look at that I love this lip I feel like I can wear this lip with pretty much everything I didn't think it was gonna go that well with this it does look a little bit like different I'm not used to it but I don't hate it so let's throw some lashes on now I'm going to be using the Cake Up Lashes in shade Forever. I am obsessed with them. I'm also going to leave her link um, down below. These lashes are extra, but we're being extra today, so, so I just thought it was fitting. 
Okay, you guys, that is the look. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys here on the next Mamacita Monday. Bye, guys. God bless you.